Hello team and welcome back to another Line War cast. This is your map today. It is a 3v3 between Bianco in blue, Cryptosporidium in red, and someone said that my nickname sucks in orange for Alpha team, and on Bravo team is Evil Lobster in teal, Kartoffelman in pink, and Magnus in green. It's pretty much just two big land masses separated by this body of water in the center of the map. On Alpha Team, we got Bianco in the top, spawning right beside Magnus, who's on Bravo Team. So a quick 1v1 in the top left. We got Cryptosporinium in the top, like in the north a little bit. Nickname, who is a teammate on the bottom right. Cartoffelman for Bravo Team in the south, and then Evil Lobster just across the water from where the action kicks off. Bianco's going for a town after going for these three factories and one barracks. There is a barracks advantage for Magnus, who has the first factory on the way in the mountains. Maybe a slight advantage for Green defensively in that one of these buildings is in the mountains, but not even really, because the rest of this is so close to the forest, it's not really in, in it. And Blue's going to have a lot more artillery in the next few minutes. So open question if uh, Magnus can survive here and how well that's going to go. Evil Lobster has three docks on the way. Might be able to send some infantry across to help Green out. Because Green's definitely on a timer in that Cryptosporinium might also be able to attack and open up a second front against Green. Which it looks like that's the plan. Red's going for tanks. So the red units will be here relatively quickly. The strength for green is that they have more barracks. And that's really about it. It's a 3 to 1 advantage in the factories for blue. And so certainly green will need help. Airport now for Evo Lobster who has a fourth dock as well. There's a lot of energy for Lobster over there. So not too much of concern keeping all those boats and planes moving. It's just a really interesting thing of, of whether Bravo Team is going to be able to help out Magnus. And how quickly they're going to be able to do that. Because otherwise, they'll find themselves in a 2v3 situation. We know that never goes well. First tank for Crypto is out. Three more on the way. Nickname's got two docks and a submarine pen and an airport in the bottom. And, and uh, rather, this is Kartoffel, and Nickname is now coming across it with the transport boat. So Kartoffel is also going to be in a little bit of trouble. Just based on the fact that Nickname's got units going over, and Kartoffel doesn't actually have a producer on land besides that airport. With the infantry advantage that Green has, there is an opportunity for the infantry to just jump on these artillery pieces. There's no more infantry for blue that's going to be able to provide like much of a meat shield. And I think with this number of infantry, Magnus is going to trade super well here against the artillery, even using these haste commands for the infantry to get on top of the blue artillery as quick as possible. Bianco's not in huge problem just because of crypto about to get here with these tanks but evil lobster with the infantry and strikers on the way might be able to really turn this in in magnus's favor and bravo team like in their favor in general and blue's certainly gonna have to group up units at home and start digging in or at least grouping up the units around the producers, because Green has, by this point, just an overwhelming army compared to what Blue's got. Crypto's pretty much just in time. Gotta see how this drop goes. The submarine pen is in trouble, so is Kartoffel's refinery nickname. With the drop. Very effective. Grabs the sub pen. And nickname's got strikers. There is a trade route set up already in the back for Alpha Team, which is a huge deal. Crypto and Nickname built those towns and ports super quickly. And still a very intense timer for Bianco. The good thing is now that this red army is here, Magnus has to start grouping up units 
around the barracks, which is exactly what happens. And I don't understand. I okay. I thought this like this target command was the planes. For a second, I I had no idea how how evil lobster was gonna start just like friendly firing these buildings. But that's because I'm dumb, and this is the teammate, and it's not on the barracks. One striker isn't really enough to deal with this many tanks. And so far, Crypto's red tanks are doing exactly what they need to do. They don't need to commit necessarily to this fight unless they think they're going to win it. They just need to stop all this infantry from showing up and destroying Bianco's base, who seems to be recovering a little bit at this point. Evil Lobster still has a transport boat that is reinforcing. And obviously, this is still a lot of tanks for red. They're certainly going to be able to get a few buildings Need to start looking down here. Nickname's attacking the refinery, which makes a lot of sense because all these pink boats aren't able to move if they're out of energy. And we saw that Crypto and Nickname are sharing energy in the far right. And Magnus in a little bit of trouble. The cruisers for Evil Lobster are in a pretty decent position to chip away at the tanks. And the striker count for Lobster will continue to grow. There's now two done, a third on the way. And there is one refinery, second one now for Lobster to keep those planes flying and the boats moving. But Magnus is gonna have to rebuild another building or they'll be knocked out of the game when you lose all your buildings. You are eliminated. And likely we'll see the barracks go down kind of close to the coast so the boats can protect it, unless Magnus does not build another building. There has to be one somewhere, though. Because Magnus should just be knocked out. I haven't... Where did Magnus build another building? <laughs> I'll f figure that out in a second. I have no idea. I can't find it. Nickname's got four infantry here. Definitely set Kartoffel back by sniping this refinery again. And Crypto and Nickname look like they're gonna have a lot of stuff. They're get, they've got a really good setup going to start the game. It must be something that, like, one of these buildings has to be Magnus's. Rocket, like, launch pad for Lobster, I believe. No, in fact, this is the difference in color. I think this is... Now Magnus. Magnus just has a launch pad and a town. Which is the next best build? Besides any producers. And potentially, like, relatively close game? The trade route is going to be huge for Alpha Team. And might be the difference maker. Crypto's got first airport now, going for commando drops. Transport plane on the way. Red's also adding more economy, including these three mining sites in the mountains. And for now, Bianco stabilizes. Starting to make some SAMs, which is also good because, as we've seen, this base is in range of the strikers. And nickname doing what nickname does best. Sniping a farm, in general being annoying with a little group of infantry behind enemy lines. First submarine here for nickname. Working on some of Kartoffel's boats. And a second submarine now complete. And nickname also has two sub pens just in general. Which will be great to try to control this center water on the map. There's a lot of trade routes through the center of the map. Obviously, it would be really good for control. And cutting off, say, any, like, strikers, if they want to go across the water, can build missile boats. It certainly feels like a map where having control of the water is a big deal. Especially as the game goes on. This is a perfect number of SAMs for Crypto, and they will get both of these strikers.
And at this point, Alpha Team's certainly taken back their side of the map. And this looks like a really good position for Alpha Team at this point. Because with the trade route already up, and being able to contest what- what the heck just happened here? Submarine. A submarine... So this is one of Kartoffel's submarines that just got around to the back? What a play. It's actually a great play. Sniping that refinery. Because Nickname no longer has any gas until this second refinery shows up. I mean, this really doesn't matter all that much. It's a, it's a great play just to have these infantry here. I guess it, they trade super well. In general, compared to what they would trade if they were just standing in the open and they're, they're guarded by those four cruisers from Lobster, who still has four docks, building all destroyers likely in reaction to nickname submarines. Nickname is going to start do, going for a bigger landing on this little peninsula. Might send some transport boats around the bottom. They can get quite far. Or it'll be all the transport boats. The Crypto's got another airport. Two transport planes already done with a third on the way. Bianco's going for a city, which is, I think, a great call. It'll be very difficult for Bravo Team to sort of punish this, especially now that Blue has four SAMs completed. And here comes the target command from Kartoffel. There's no SAMs here for Alpha Team. So this town will be destroyed. And this would be a really big deal if this one submarine for Kartoffel would be able to destroy that, that port. I suppose this one's already destroyed, so it's not as big a deal. The the transport, or the, rather the trade route, no longer works. But looking at crypto, there's a lot of eco that red has. And blue is going to have a lot more eco as well once this, this city completes. The rocket is two-thirds of the way done. This rocket that Magnus has built. And great kiting from Nickname to stay just outside the range of these boats. Which cannot move because the refinery is... Uh, there's only one refinery now for Pink. And having these planes in the air means these cruisers can't really move. By this point, Nickname's getting some destroyers around to that back sea to try to you know, reestablish that trade route by building the port and the refinery. We also saw that Crypto has a dock in the north that is also building destroyers. And Rocket for Magnus is nearly complete. If we actually look at Bravo Team's vision, they can't see that there's a bunch of buildings in this mountain. Maybe as these destroyers go close to the shore... Since there are quite a number of destroyers, so the, the vision, of, like, their vision is kind of cumulative with how many units there are around. Maybe they're not close enough. Stealth bonus of the mountains is the real deal. City is almost done for, for Bianco. I have no idea where this rocket goes. I said for Bianco, for Magna. So it is going to go to Bianco's base. Which isn't actually like a massive deal. It's gonna maybe destroy... I mean, if it's hit in the center, it'll destroy four buildings here. But Blue still has this city complete. And look at that. Destroyed all five buildings. The biggest thing is that to destroy actually all the Sams. And these subs are... Like, I guess it's just a sub versus sub battle right now. It's impossible to tell. Who's, what color these all are. I guess they're all the same. They must all be nickname subs. Still four... I, I was wrong. Still four Sams here. For Bianco. Just the... I feel like the fact that Blue has the city, it's... Relatively big deal. There's going to be a lot of commandos that Lobster's going to be able to land across. Which could become a problem. 
but crypto still has these transport planes so in a pinch might be able to do some commando drops over to the north to try to help out and reinforce nickname is causing all sorts of trouble poor cartoffel with a good amount of transport boats, four transport boats and enough infantry saved up, this will be an enormous snipe because Kartoffel is going to lose all of these planes, except for the one helicopter. But Kartoffel's done well to have economy built elsewhere on the map. Refineries reestablished. The port for nickname is also up again good find from these destroyers and they will if they dive this submarine pen they'd be able to destroy it but it's kind of an open question if lobster wants to just commit the destroyers or run away this will be a huge problem for bianco if the commandos for lobster are able to get to the city great play from lobster to just run them by and go right for the high value target. A very aesthetically pleasing defensive line of these Sams. The rocket could definitely hit this. But Bravo Team still hasn't detected that there are buildings there. And two Sams is not going to be enough. Let's see if these commandos drop. Because I believe that's the only way that this city would be able to stay alive at this point. Nickname's going to take this fight. We'll see if the overwhelming yellow force is able to destroy all the pink units in the reinforcements. These pink units would also be fatigued after digging in like this. And unfortunately for Kartoffel, they'll probably have to dig in again at these barracks. And Nickname continues to reinforce this. Crypto's plan with the transport planes is actually a big drop on this town, which will be very strong. It's not like, I suppose it's so difficult to tell the teal from the, the green, but this is Magnus. It's not like Magnus is going to have enough infantry here to actually defend that town. And this is certainly enough commandos to destroy this city. None of the commandos will get out of here alive. But that's a big pickup from Lobster. Another rocket is being launched. As Crypto destroys that town. Nickname's now building a base by where Kartoffel started. And relatively decent rocket. These four commandos for Lobster will be able to destroy this factory now, which leaves Bianca with just one building. Everything in range of these evil Lobster strikers, the only limiting factor for evil Lobster at that point is the refineries and how much energy there is. Can't really fly all those planes at once. And so Kartoffel in this reset is going to have six barracks and a bunch of economy. Nickname's got a barracks, or rather two barracks and a factory set up and starting to dig in. To make sure that that foothold survives. And this drop would look like it's, yeah, it's going to go into this mountain range. So that lobster can take this territory. Submarines for nickname still getting a lot of value. Great drop from crypto on this town and port. And we'll very likely be able to destroy the launch pad as well. It's going to, I mean, it's going to be just be a case if Magnus has enough barracks units that can get over the launch pad in time. With this many commandos, this many transport planes, certainly not.
Here comes Kartoffel's counter push. And I still think that this is very much alpha favored in this game. Destroying all these refineries or even just one of them is going to be a big deal. And most importantly is that crypto is going to be able to keep dropping like this. Because there's still enough red commandos at home. And there's no real, there's no anti-air, there's no SAMs to intercept any of those transport planes. And it looks like Red will be able to keep a Bianco alive. At least certainly this factory and this farm. Kartoffel definitely doesn't want to commit into this forest quite yet. Makes a lot of sense because this looks terrifying. So for now, Pink's just gonna build up units, and as this is happening, Nickname's gonna start taking the peninsula finally. There's no more submarines in the back for Bravo Team Self, it definitely has that locked down. And now Nickname Strikers are able to get into the fight. Without artillery and without tanks, very difficult position for Pink to actually crack. But it's not like Kartoffel really has any choice. Kind of has to deal with this sooner rather than later. Because of this, all this eco that Alpha Team has. Then for now, we just kind of watch it. Not really sure what Bravo team could do at this point in the game. Magnus is pretty much eliminated at this point. Really, the only option is to go for commando drops, which could be useful. And I suppose Magnus is just as, you know, effectively out of the game as Bianco is. I think the one difference is that Crypto's support, Red's support, or Blue in the north is like more effective than what Lobster can provide to Magnus here. Like, I feel like Magnus is one big drop away from getting knocked out of the game. And there's not a lot of territory that Magnus has to build other producers on. Air support for Nickname is killer there. And two more factories for Nickname. There's just so many commandos. So many commandos. Luckily for Lobster at the moment, some of the commandos are trying to fight the boats. An airstrip now for a crypto in a forward location. Probably going to put some transport planes on this so the commandos can go even further and start dropping probably even to this, this town that Kartoffel has. There are expensive drops that Red's been doing, but so far they've been pretty effective. Magnus is going for three commando drops, three transport planes of commandos, rather. At the same time, they might be able to destroy a factory. Or otherwise just retreat and try to get sneaky and, and get lost behind enemy lines.
But we can do a quick eco check. This is a lot of submarines for nickname that's kind of blockaded this part of the map. And slowly over time, Alpha is going to get more more boats that'll just be able to win in a straight up engagement. Because I believe pretty soon Lobster is going to have to send some units to help out Kartoffel. It is four barracks and two factories for nickname against seven barracks and one factory for Kartoffel. And we can check Ecos. So blue has 397, red 1153, orange 910, 643 for teal, 720 for pink, and 310 for green. So certainly income wise, definitely favoring alpha team at this point. I do like that Kartoffel's got a submarine pen in the south. Because getting getting another submarine around the back, if that was possible, would be a big deal. And the way this game might end is that there will be a big naval battle, or there will be another enormous drop of commandos from crypto, potentially both happening at the same time. Kartoffel still has this one helicopter from the beginning of the game, so that's respect. Wish we had a kill counter on that helicopter. Magnus making the best of a tough situation with the helicopters, which are effective. But big picture, Bravo Team would have to be able to land a bunch of units on Alpha Team's landmass to be able to start cutting back on that, that eco difference. And that'll be very difficult to do. There's an aircraft carrier now for nickname to give these strikers more range. And I mean, this artillery line is just terrifying if you're this infantry running into it. Four Sams in the forest. They're spotted by the strikers. I believe that they got one plane already. They will not get two. And now, more importantly, now that all the Sams are gone, these, these strikers are going to be even more effective the next time that they decide to launch an attack. Magnus building another rocket, which would be important. With all these defensive lines coming into view, it's kind of... You'd probably expect that there's a lot of buildings, and with the commandos landing... There you go. Bravo team now sees how many units are here, how many producers. Here's the big naval engagement. It is a mix of destroyers and submarines for crypto and nickname. Against all these boats for green. Or teal, rather. How could I how could I be so blind? It's just, it's very sometimes difficult to tell. You all know how it is. Here comes these four green helicopters. But this is a lot of Navy for Alpha Team. City on the way again for Bianco. Love it. And Crypto getting ready with a gazillion more commandos wherever this drop is going to go. Transport boats taken on submarines, you do not often see this. Spoilers, the submarines will win. And helicopters against missile boats. Missile boats love it. It's just still enough submarines for nickname that they can kind of just fight this teal navy. 
which is pain. If you're teal. Here come the transport planes for Crypto. They're going to drop in the south and link up with all of Nickname's army. Kartoffel is out of here. That was an impossible situation to be in, and this would make it even more impossible. And there goes Lobster, leaving Magnus. GG. We'll play it all. Let's check out some graphs. Income wise, I mean, maybe it's partly the trade route. GG, Lion War. What a game. Folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Props to Nickname for sharing this in the Match Replays channel in the Discord. I hope you have a wonderful night, day, evening, whatever it is. See you around. Enjoy. Peace.